We are going to represent the trigonometric functions on the trigonometric circle. So we draw the trigonometric circle with the x-axis and the y-axis uh, intersecting at its center O and keeping in mind that the radius of this trigonometric circle is one unit and we also take the, uh, the positive orientation which is counterclockwise. We construct angle alpha and we elongate the side of angle alpha so that this side will meet the trigonometric circle at M. Cosine of an angle is represented on the x-axis which is the abscissa of point M. So if we project M on the x-axis which is the cosine axis we get the segment OA as a result. Now in triangle OMA, this angle here, angle OAM is 90. Therefore, this triangle is right. So we can uh, have this formula. Cosine of angle alpha equals to adjacent side over hypotenuse where here the hypotenuse is equal to the radius of the trigonometric circle, which is equal to 1. Therefore, cosine alpha is equal to OA over 1, which is equal to OA. Sine of, angle, uh, sine of an angle is represented on the y-axis, which is the ordinate of point M. So we project M on the y-axis, which is the sine axis, and we get OB as a result. Segment OB is equal to MA. Since we have OB, MA, a rectangle. So if we take triangle OMA, it's a right triangle, as we said before. And if we want to represent sine alpha, it's opposite side over hypotenuse. But we said that the hypotenuse equals to 1. Therefore, sine alpha is equal to uh, the opposite side, which is MA. But we said that MA is equal to BO. Therefore, sine alpha is equal to segment uh, BO or OB. Tangent of an angle is represented by the intersection of OM and the line tangent to the circle at P. So we draw a line tangent to the circle perpendicular to the x-axis at the point of tangency, P. Now, OM meets this tangent at T. Therefore, to represent tangent alpha, it's equal to TP, which is this segment. And we know that the formula of tangent of an angle is equal to sine over cosine. Now, we continue these representations. We still have the cotangent. So, to, to review what has been mentioned... This is the trigonometric circle. This is the counterclockwise, which is the positive sense. And this is angle alpha. Cosine of an angle is represented by the x-axis. And the sine of an angle is represented by the y-axis. And now we come to the cotangent. We draw a line tangent to the circle and perpendicular to the y-axis at the point of tangency S. This axis is called the cotangent axis. Cotangent of an angle is represented by the intersection of OM and the line tangent to the circle at S. So this part here of the axis it represents the cotangent of angle alpha. 
and cotangent is also represented by cosine alpha over sine alpha.